Brett Favre. Get in the right mindset. Brett Favre, Brett Favre, good Packers, Brett Favre. Hey everybody, I'm Dave Oster here from Most Oil Podcast, bringing you the Green Bay Packers NFL season prediction. They get it started off against the Seahawks week one at home. This one could be a little rough, but you guys are at home. Seahawks still kind of, you know, I, I think that while they're good defensively, they have lost a step. I think that their offensive line was pretty bad last year, um, but, you know, it's, it's still something you guys can definitely take advantage of. But look, let's just be honest. You're the Packers. You have Aaron Rodgers. You're going to win through offense and sheer offense. You were a top 10 offense last year. You're going to be a top 5 offense this year because, you know what, you added the black unicorn. My boy Marty B. Martellus Bennett is huge for this team. Gives the Packers another reliable tight end, another great pass catcher. So I do have them winning week one over the Seahawks, probably one of the toughest games of the year on your schedule. Week two, as soon as I say that, you have to go to Atlanta. And this is probably the same vein of Atlanta of last year. This is going to be offense versus offense. This is going to be like a 45 to, you know, 40 game. Yeah, I'm going 45-40. Uh, but I do have the Falcons winning. Look, the, the difference is Atlanta has... A defense when they're all trying, and I, I want to. I don't want to harp on the Super Bowl too much because this is this is done and over with. New season, they're gonna be angry and they're gonna play well this year. They had a young team, um, and that's where I'm concerned because they can get to the quarterback. And Rodgers, well, an amazing scrambler. I, I think as prone to mistakes as he keeps himself away from them, but like, I just think Atlanta is gonna be able to take advantage a little bit here. It's gonna be a close one. It's gonna be an absolute like. Amazing offensive game, but I do have the Falcons winning this one. Week three, Bengals. Andy Dalton ain't got shit on Aaron Rodgers. Just fairly easy. The Bengals are, are good, but they're, they're an average team in the NFL. Packers are up here. And, and as a Bears fan, it hurts me a little to admit that, but it's okay. I know you guys are good. Week four, hosting the Bears. So you're going to win, it, whether it's against the draft or whether it's against Trubisky. Like, one way or the other, it's going to be ugly. Um, I think the upside is this year we get to watch, you know, the entire offense do a Lambo leap. Uh, that's about all I can really talk about for the Bears game. And there's not a lot to be positive about there. You're just going to kick their ass. Week 5, Cowboys. Now, this is a game that would have been up in the air had Ezekiel Elliott not been suspended. I think that Dallas last year overachieved, and I think that this year they come down to earth a little bit more. Um, Dak Prescott by no means is a perfect quarterback. And that offense will move the ball, but I think that Aaron Rodgers plus Martellus, uh, Martellus Bennett, Cobb, Jordy Nelson, you guys have every asset on offense to, to take the ball and just murder teams with it. I mean, it's just, you're, you're playing keep away. This Dallas team without a run game that is solidified with Ezekiel Elliott, I don't think that they can keep up the, the game time possession, which really kept Aaron Rodgers off the field. So because they can't keep possession... It's going Packers. Week six, Vikings. And I like this one because, look, you're, you're going up to the Dome. It, it, it's wonderful, but I honestly don't expect, uh, I, I don't expect the Vikings to win, mostly just to fuck with Ricky. Like, they're not as good of a team. Yeah, yeah, you can give me the finger all you want, Ricky. Your team's losing. It's all right. Week seven, the Saints. And actually, this one, I've got on an upset because... Drew Brees is still Drew Brees. Um, they, they will win games. I think, look, honestly, the Packers team, like, uh, uh, two losses before the bye week. I know you're already probably yelling at me. But I think the Saints team, offensively, is they, they've been the top in the league for like a decade. Uh, defensively, obviously, they have their shortcomings when it comes to uh, providing pressure on the quarterback. They do have some all right safeties and corners. Um, uh, again, this one, shootout. And that's the thing I love, like, I can't be mad watching, you know, Packers Saints go like put up 70 points on the scoreboard combined. Like it's going to be a crazy game. There's going to be like 600 yards of total offense. It's going to be bonkers, but I do have the Saints taking this one. Then you get the bye week, week eight, perfect timing. Come back and you get the Lions at home. Going to win that game. Uh, Lions fans hate me already. So, I mean, just bring it on. It's you guys aren't better. Uh, week 10, Bears, you're, you're going down to Soldier Field. You're, you're going to win. The Bears are still a terrible team. Trubisky hopefully is starting at this point, maybe making some strides. I hope he has a good showing. But again, it, it just comes down to this Green Bay Packers team has an agenda this year. You're going for the playoffs. The, the regular season is more about just getting through it. Don't worry about the teams because you're mostly playing on another level than them, except for a couple of games. 
So week 11, you have to host the Ravens. Could be a close game. The Ravens, I, I love their toughness. I love what they bring. But I think, again, offense wins in today's NFL. And it's what you can just shit out. And it's not even fair. But then week 12 is the problem week. Week 12 is where you go up against the Steelers. You're going to Pittsburgh. And I, as much as I love, I love uh, the Packers offense, like if there's one better, it's going to be the Steelers. And it's, it's the triumphant. You have Ben Roethlisberger, Le'Veon Bell, and God, Bryant. I mean, it's just, they have, I want to say they have like about three or four wide receivers who are excellent. But like, honestly, between Brown, Bryant, and um, I know there's another one, I'm forgetting his name, but look, the Steelers have one of the best, they have the best offense in football. Here, number two, nothing to be afraid of. Number two, number two. Um, so yeah, you're, you're going to lose in Pittsburgh. Still off to a, a phenomenal year, though. Week 13, you host Tampa Bay. You're going to win. Tampa Bay is a younger team on the up, up and up, um, but they don't have all the pieces yet. That offense still makes a lot of mistakes. That uh, Even though your defense isn't great, uh, you're, you're probably about 20th in the league. I, I think you can take advantage of the mistakes they're going to provide. Give Aaron, again, the more time you let Aaron Rodgers have the ball, the better chance your team has to win the game. It's not rocket science here, people. Week 14, Browns, easy. Week 15, Panthers. Um, Panthers, and this is the one that I'm a, a little unsure of because Cam Newton could be excellent, could be terrible. He has been like bizarro half the time. And if he's healthy and Christian McCaffrey can do what I think he can do, they can provide a real challenge to you. I am going to give you this game. I don't think the Panthers will win this one. Even with Cam Newton healthy, I just think it's too close. And it's too close to the end of the season that uh, you guys are pretty much in playoff form at this point. Week 16, take it to the uh, Vikings again. Purple, pe purple people eaters. No, I'm just Ricky Hartstare. No, no. Uh, and then week 17, finish out the year. Uh, I have you beating the Lions. I, I think you're a sweep. I think you're going to absolutely sweep the division. 13-3 um, overall. Phenomenal year. Uh, I think the expectations are high for everybody. I think that right now the Packers are out of the, uh, out of the NFC, expected to be you know, the top team or number two. And in my mind, I, I think that you guys have every right to be there, and I expect you guys to have success throughout the regular season and into the playoffs. So... 13-3, and three, fantastic year. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'd love to hear your opinions on the season. You know, maybe I got one right or wrong that you guys disagree with. Anyway, you have it. I want to hear about it. Check out all of our other NFL prediction videos. Uh, doing one for every single team. All the guys at MVP are doing them. So if you're interested, definitely check out the links below.